My name is Mohamed Makayev, 19 years old, 21 in all undefeated MMA amateur record, representing Team England and Team KHK. Now they start the qualifications like in Kazakhstan, Russia and in this country qualifications like you have to compete like in tournament, each bracket there's like about 150 people, so you have to be best number one and two to come to, to, come to world and number three goes to European Championships so imagine the level of it like you're fighting number one guy from some country Bulgarian was tough his fight Bulgarian dropped me after I woke up after he got me Amber and I only woke up when when I heard a little, little bit click maybe but um, after this of course this I won by unanimous decision he came off slamming and then I got Kazakhstan with Kazakhstan, same decision. To, to fight is though, every fight is tough here. There's no, yeah, last year was easier fights. This year is another, another level. Like uh, most, most of England team out first round. Like last year we had like more medals than this year. This amateur level is growing bigger than like some professional organizations. Like I, I believe like top three in amateur here, senior can be like easy top. 15 in biggest organizations in the world, easy. Because there's some, some guys like half, like 30, how much if I see it? Not all wins, but like wins and losses and experience, man. It's, it's great to represent England because I lived this for seven years, but one thing is, you come back to England, what's, what's next? You come back, you win medal, country doesn't care about you. You know, like, uh, no, no funding, no support when you go abroad, you know. Like for example, even media, you know, if you take example like Sky News, BT Sport, advertising some Bambinton. Hey, Bambinton already big. Advertise MMA which growing, maybe get people of the streets get to the gym. I, I was if I wasn't involved with MMA, I started MMA like uh, like to get free membership in the gym I had to like three months after training and stuff like this. Hey, if I wasn't like this, if they don't accept me to the gym, I would be on the street same. I'd be like in trouble, maybe end of, maybe jail. Like who knows? Because it's easy to get jail in UK. Mm -hmm. Everything close, whereas in Russia you can't get away from it. You know, so you have to help this sport in UK. So many like bad mans, you know, like gangs, gangsters, wannabes. No gangsters, wannabes. They they're more dangerous because they they don't know what they're stabbing for stuff like this. So only way to stop them and get right people around them and put them in a gym. Even they're not like succeed much, but maybe they work in the gym, maybe they change their life. He's, he's drilling all the same defense as, it? as last year. So, did you see him? Yeah. Let's strike again. Yeah. Yeah. Look, think about rolling. Mm. You don't have to do 10 seconds to strike him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. You can do 30, one minute. One minute. Put punching his head in. One minute and a half, then take him out. Good, good, good. Let's go. Um, this is the best he's looked all week, and it was like that in Rome. Yeah. His best day, his, his energy was the best fight, final day. And I think that's almost like, this is the, the, the penultimate for him, isn't it? Like, most fighters get up on fight day, where his fight won, it's, it's still a long way from the end. So, I don't think we've seen the best Mo yet this week. We're going to see the best version of him today in this fight. And I think Rio is the second best amateur in this tournament. He brings the best out of Mo. 20 wins now for Mo, his best performance to date is the final in Rome. Bahrain last year, Rio, you know, looked dangerous in the striking, but if you watch the Rome fight, Mo looks like the striker, the wrestler and the jiu-jitsu guy. Um, so, I don't think we're going to give him anything today. I think, uh, you know, Rio's going to have to settle for second best until Mo moves onto seniors or professional. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's as ready as he can be, he's sharp, He's focused, he's happy. You know, when he's happy, he's dangerous. So, I'm excited. Steve, kills his range. Even if you kick, you yeah. land it. Kills, kills his range. Kills his range. He's good at range. But I like that, but set him to sell forward on the wrestling.
only the sport, wrestling. Not many people like wrestling in UK because wearing singlets, like Jiu Jitsu, not many on this and boxing. This box is in UK good, good level, Olympic level. For MMA, it's like everybody likes, everybody knows MMA, you know, watching Conor McGregor advertise, Habib advertise this. Sport is the best way. Not everybody knows. You know, see kids shadow boxing on side streets. And next time, next minute, they're doing some troubles. And I think maybe you've got talent, who knows? Respect my parents, respect, respect, when you respect gym, respect coaches. You come home, you have to respect your parents. And, and then you have like, parents put you on the right path because they have bigger experience, three, four times more than you. And also, when you listen to your parents, your life goes easier, no trouble becomes. So it's like, have to, UK, UK have to help with MMA, like government, government bodies, you know. England. Yeah. Good level, but once like someone get on top, like win one belt, win like bronze medal, gold medal, something, silver medal, like European World Championships, they change. They become not 100% in the game. Start drinking maybe out of maybe like 100 people, maybe five goes to the top. So they, they get like too much star in the head. Like, the best. Oh, just remember like. Just to be best, you have to work even harder because this guy is coming to smash you. Huh? Hey, I have to work twice harder in the gym. I have like always have to stay because I don't want to someone beat me. I don't want to be some Japanese guy or someone be on my like losing streak. You know what I mean? So you have to work twice, three times more harder than these guys because they're coming for you and they know my level. And it's easy to them to get me done. I mean, get them. They got nothing to lose when they get in the cage. I've got. Yeah. So, this. I like. I'm here one and a half month already. I came here out earlier. Sheikh Khalid look after me good. The prince of Bahrain. Like everything was sorted. Hotel and food and like lift to the gyms. So I was training good. Everything was good. Um, we got this. We got this. Should we go to? Oh, I got this camp. It's a swimming pool,
Japan Flow 227, it means a lot. You know, to get to the gym, like five years ago, I was cleaning mats to get free membership. Now I'm here, second time world champion. Wow, this, you know, this, this means a lot. Uh, it is harder as well. No one can deny your work ethic, what you put in. It's being recognized around the world. Also, the Prince of Bahrain joining you in the cage to uh, yeah. congratulate and celebrate you. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, now I represent Team KHK Bahrain. Represent my country, Great Britain. Thank you so much, everybody, for support. My coach is Dean Ole, Edgar. Oh, my friends, Bucky Callan, Kadi Muatai. Just one more Russian thing on the Второй раз выиграл чемпионат мира. Для меня это много значит. Пять лет назад, чтобы приходить бесплатно на тренировки, я был матый, мало кто об этом знает. Просто хотел дать мотивацию для молодым, для молодых ребят, которые нет денег, нет поддержки. У меня тоже так же вышел. Просто трудитесь, Всевышний поможет вам. Альхамдулиля, everything. Все, что у меня есть, это дал мне Всевышний. And uh, one last question for you. You've dominated the Iron Officer Junior. There's talk of you going professional next year. I mean, we'd love to see what you could do here at IMAFs in the senior levels. Yes. Will this be your last fight here in the IMAF cage? I was thinking, go to pro, but I spoke to Sheikh Khalid. He will support me, Team KHK. So, one more year, I'm staying in I'm, I'm IMAF. <laughs> yeah. Now, no pound for pound, pound for every pound. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all the support here. Means a lot. Thank you. 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 Yes. Man, you are a phenomenal. Man, you are a phenomenal champ. And I'm so glad we got next year with you as well. How you look easy. I was one of the best performances this week. He was ready for this fight. He was just we see the sparks in his eyes. I think so that preparation for this fight was just 450 percentage. They said 100. He just went down and did everything what we making a plan, what we just told him to do. He did everything. He know his game. That's why he's a world champion twice now, European champion. And we presume he's gonna be doing exactly the same next year. He's gonna come. He's gonna win and he's gonna improve. He just world champion. Yes. What a week. We? We're happy for him. Like we, we do this to support people like Mo, like me and Ole. This is why we coach. Um, we, we both being competitors ourselves. I still am, and we know what it means to train hard, sacrifice everything, put everything on the line. This kid's had to cut weight every night. No food after 5 p.m. You know. Just the run up to the tournament's been tough, he's been out in Bahrain for a long time. So it's been hard, he's made all the sacrifices that champions make. This is what he deserves. 
Thank you, coach. Yeah, he deserves nothing less. He deserves all the credit that he's going to get for this performance today. Um, and again, I think that just shows these guys who took a round off Mo this week. They never fought Mo. They fought Mo on on his way to a final. Um, so he's struggling to get himself up now for some of these bouts because he knows he's the best. So I think that today shows what he's got. Um, but you can't do that every day because you might get injured. So this is what the tournament tournament format does. Doping. Here? Yes, here. No doping. No doping. No doping. Only doping. No 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 doping. No